to my awesome women over 40, close to 50 like me. Y'all know I'm on a mission to help y'all get and stay married, attract the love you desire and deserve. And I just finished up my marriage support call. If you have not joined that call, join. And, you know, if you're probably watching my channel, you are probably pro-man. You know, this ain't no drizzle, drizzle, sprinkle, sprinkle. This is just a reality of life. And I'm married and uh, I can tell you that being married is so much fun for me. And um, I enjoy it. I, I really love my husband, but I really enjoy being married. But what I found is, you know, why I created the series for the marriage support is when you get in a valley in a marriage, you tend to want to give up because you're like, oh, I don't have to put up with this, especially if you've been married more than once. And most of us over 40 have. Um, you really know what's on the other side. So you're like, mm, yeah, no, I'm not putting up with this or this or this. I'm not even cheating and stuff. It's just like, it's the things that are just annoying. But what I found was the things that are annoying, the same poo-poo different toilet. And there's going to be a lot more external challenges in marriage over 40 or over 50. You know, I just say over 40, really, because that encompasses 50 plus. The challenges are centered more around um, maybe siblings, ex-wives, ex-husbands, exes, period, adult children, um, neighbors, maybe it's his house, her house, and people will treat it like it's theirs. So even though you're married, they will still come in and refer to it as their house, treat it like their house. So so the challenges are just different. You all will have this amazing relationship. That doesn't mean everyone accepts it. Um, especially if you are very attractive, male or female, they might think that you're using them. Um, you know, it's funny because with my husband, I always kind of say, you know, we, I kind of kid with them and be like, you know, they think you the sugar daddy and I'm the sugar mama. And we're both the sugar in our relationship, but it's fun. But again, the challenges are different. So join that call because we talk about the practical side of marriage. Um, I go, I have a whole agenda. So it's a different call every day. That's why you see the topics are different every day. So it could be like today, our practical topic was marriage is a mirror. So marriage is a mirror. It's just a reflection. My spouse is a reflection of me. I'm a reflection of him. My joy is a reflection of him. His joy is a reflection of me. Well, Montina, I can't make him happy. He can't make me happy. We don't make each other happy, but there is joy that is reflected in that marriage because of that relationship. So don't get it twisted. There's some joy. Where's my coffee? Oh, let me just grab my coffee, y'all. <coughs> I'm getting over a cold. All right. So what I wanted to talk about after the call is this is kind of like the, the you know, the remnants after the call type thing. But I have a friend that's really going through some challenges and and I know she's going through some challenges and the old me wants to fix things. And I'm, I used to be an enabler like you know, what can I do? But I realized like, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a counselor and I'm not God. I don't know what God is trying to show you or anyone in their lives. And we started talking about, I just encouraged, actually she texted me and was like, I'm getting a therapist. I'm going to look at my medical insurance because you know, I'm going through depression and I need a therapist. And I said, look, a therapist turns something that hurts into something that heals. And I am an advocate for mental health, mental health advocate for therapy, because especially in the black community, because we, we, we just have some DNA that's hardwired. We have trauma that's hardwired in our DNA, especially if you're an American descendant of slavery. And if you're just black in America, things, you know, if you're even considered black, I don't care if you African, Caribbean, Latino, you consider black, okay? If you got darker skin, people think you black, okay? And they probably treat you as such. Now, I can't say that I have negative treatment because I'm black. I can say, that there are others around me that do and there are microaggressions but they don't bother me just because of my personality and i grew up as one of three black children in my elementary school um, my neighbor that babysat me was a white italian woman capisce capisce i said capisce you understand um so for me i can't say that i've walked in america and really struggled that's my struggle it hasn't been but it doesn't mean that two things can't be true at once right some of the struggle is just being a woman. Some of the struggle is, you know, um, people have little quirky or not quirk, snarky things they say. Oh, you get this because you're pretty. Oh, you get this because you're skinny. Oh, you, you know, always, you know, I work, I work out every day, y'all. And I, you know what, the, the size I am, I 
struggle and I work out every day. Okay. And I'm like, dang, you would think as much as I work out, I'd be like a size two. Okay. But your body at a certain age, it just t it tapers. And this is just my size. And my husband likes it. I got some curves, y'all. But therapy is necessary because something's always going to come up. Like right now I'm going through something with one of my children and they're all adults. I'm going through something where mysteriously a, a, a relative just popped up out of the blue. Like you just go through shit and you just be like, dang. And it can impact your relationship, especially your marriage. There are inner child things that I've dealt with, but guess what? There are some things that can come up. I called one of my relatives the other day, matter of fact, my uncle, and he was like, don't call me. What, what do you want? And I was like, why are you talking to me like that? And he's all like, I told you not to call me. I was so confused, y'all. I was like, he literally hung the phone up on me and I called him back like, what, what's going on? I was so confused. And that's something that to just, again, unpack with a therapist. When people hurt you, you guys, we go through things in life. You're constantly, literally in war. You're constantly on the battlefield and you need to actually offload that somehow. Some of the conversations are necessary for me to have with my husband. And sometimes it's just like, I just need to get off my chest and let it go. Okay. I journal, but again, I just want you to really think about having someone that you can talk to outside of your girlfriend. Stop trauma bonding. I'm going to tell you, I'm that girlfriend. I don't go super duper duper deep. I just don't. Even in relationships I've had 30 years, um, we'll talk about some things, you know, but at the end of the day, I unpack with my therapist. So again, I want to just encourage you to get a therapist. And if you don't like the therapist you have, get another one. I will tell you, my life did not really transform my mental health and all of that until I, I actually have a white male therapist. I think he lives out in like Iowa somewhere. We meet um, virtually by phone. We don't even talk like this. And he, I needed someone to just just thought differently and could hold my feet to the fire. And I felt like a black therapist for me, a woman was just coddling me too much. Like I, I just felt like, you know, I was kind of okay with some things. And then there was some, I think she was just too empathetic to be quite frank with you. I need a solution as a problem. Some things just ain't normal. And there were some strong things that he was like, look, oh, um, this person ain't talking to you and you paying their phone bill. This doesn't even make sense. Like there were things that he brought into my, to the forefront of my knowledge of my, and I'm like, this doesn't make sense. Some things that you think are normal just are not normal. It's not okay. And some of y'all are out here helping relatives that you should not be helping. You're not God. You are, you are literally paying bills for folks that don't even respect you. You are literally helping people that hate you. You are literally doing things for people and your spouse is looking at you side eye and you are preferring them over your spouse. Like these are real things that have come up in my therapy sessions where I had to look at life. My husband's had to look at things. Um, you know, we went to a marital conference and I'm going to tell you the impact, the, the ripple effect it had on our marriage was amazing. Oh, it just was amazing. It was life changing, transformational. So that's why I'm saying get some therapy, invest in some, some therapy move the needle in your relationships and move the needle for yourself. You need it for yourself. You can't be walking around here saying, I'm depressed. Like that don't even make sense. You, you can even, I hate to say it, there's hotlines you can call. Okay. So get the help that you need. It's necessary. YouTube, we're not there. I'm not a therapist. Now I like Dr. Romney. I like others on YouTube that at the end of the day, you do need somebody that you can have a dialogue with. Okay. One way is, is not enough. You need a dialogue. Okay. So I'm going to advocate for you to call a helpline, find something free in your community. You need somebody to talk to. If you get your nails done and your hair done, talking about, I can't afford a therapist. Shame on you for real. Because you're in your inner glow. Sis, when you glow, when you are a whole, complete, nothing missing, nothing broken woman, you are super sexy, sassy, trauma free. Baby, you will be beating men off with sticks. And in your marriage, you show differently because you're kind, you're softer. You have a radical acceptance. You have a lot more humor. I was, I was, <laughs> I was messing with my husband yesterday and I was saying something and I was tickling him. He was laughing and it was just fun. And, and, and you just have radical acceptance. I said that you, you, you are, you exercise emotional maturity and you can pray before you say, cause you don't have all this pent up hurt, resentment and anger. And if you have resentment in your marriage, get a therapist. 
and get a marriage counselor, even if he won't go. I've been going to marriage counseling myself. It's okay. Because quite frankly, most men don't think anything's wrong anyway. Okay? So let God be God and you focus on being the best version of yourself you can be. All right, y'all. I got to go do stuff today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>